Well, you know, why not, uh, why not start the series here? Um, cause this is going to be a long one. Very, very long term fun project. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, but a surprise. We bought another 240. This one is a pretty much pro car, well, pro-am car. It's fire suppression, but yeah, it's, it's full race car. Uh, full cage, it's a thick boy. Um, I do not like how they have this stuff, but because usually I think the NASCAR bars just go on those two and not that big one up there. But you know what? It works, it's safe. Um, it's, a, it's a chunky cage thick piping I will be very safe um we have some rust as you can see and so I've just I just started cleaning it up wire brush sanding all that good stuff this one was very similar so um pretty much just cleaning up the rust the cage is also rusted um mainly surface rust just because the obviously has no windows or uh sunroof kind of sit up here a bit kind of the worst part of it that'll focus there you go um so yeah i'm gonna be doing a sunroof delete panel up here just so that's all nice and snazzy um i don't know if it'll fit technically speaking it should um that's like right at the, the roof line um like comparatively there but we'll make it work worst case you can just kind of tack weld or just weld some stuff up top here. Um, there's a little dent right there I can see from here. Um, this is a long-term project, but I'm excited for it for sure. Um, let's see if it if it'll start. Came with some spares. Got a fuel cell. I hate those batteries. Odyssey, small ones. They I just do a full-size battery, but that's just me. Um, Let's see if she'll start. She's she's kind of grumpy. Let's see if I can get my fat ass in this cage. It's a uh, good motivation to to lose weight, so I can get in this cage a bit easier. Um. All right. So it is a LS built LS one. Uh, supposedly makes right under 550 wheel. Um. See, I, that, that battery's too low. She ain't gonna start. Oh, I turned it off. My bad. Still new to this. Still new to this. Um, we got party lights. That's the most important thing, honestly. I, I can just stop there. But, oh, now we have 12 volts. Maybe she will, I don't know. She's odd. Maybe she will start. Let's see.
she is rowdy indeed. With a very aggressive chop. So it is a little loud. Just a schmidge. Um, yeah, so... She's rough. She's indeed rough. Uh, there's an E36 with an LS that realistically I probably should have got. It was a lot more put together. Uh, LS3, well, iron block with LS3 internals. Um, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, but I've never driven E36 like that. I had an E36 and 3 sedan before, but that was like probably 8, 10 years ago. And I'm very comfortable with the, uh, the S chassis. So I figured... I'd rather, you know, throw it at a wall. I'd rather be in something I'm comfortable with. But, um, yeah, so. Fitment is uh, very on point. Literally no gap there. Um, tire Slayer for sure, though. I'm super excited for it. I uh, have a lot of plans. Eventually, I'm going to get KBD. Oh, are you going to focus? Maybe, maybe not. I can't see clearly. Nope, nope, we can't see. Oh, there we go. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get some doors at some point. Probably KB, or not KB, uh, Big Duck Club. Just because they're that material that bends and doesn't break. So, I'll do that. Probably get some rib nut windows. Uh, like Lexan. Um, make some bracket for up here since these are one piece. Pretty much the bolt in down here. Like rib nut, rib nut. And then, ideally, I'd get like a bracket or something made up here. So, I could have it like a bracket hang down, bolt it in and out. If I want to take this to Cars and Coffee or something, uh, I can go up as unrealistic as that is. Um, I can go up, take the windows out, drive up. Sunroof delete plate will be coming on that. Uh, I think I'm gonna just kind of ball out. Not really, uh, get some steel it and just do the interior. This seat doesn't really fit. If the seat fits the height, cause it's hard mounted, um, I need to adjust, so uh, I'm gonna just take those bolts out, and I actually have the garage just stick high mount one, so instead of just having like those four settings, there's like 12 or some, something like that, so I can move it forward a little bit and a little higher. He did floor drop this so he could fit, um, so I'll be moving it forward towards that little mount but I'm also gonna be moving it up maybe two inches, so it should perfectly clear that portion there. We'll see. Well, that's how I'll probably spray the rest of the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna just spray it black for now, so it's kind of like the rust prevention coating and everything, and then do the steel it on top of that. Um, same with the cage, I believe. I'm just gonna do steel it on. It's easy and simple, just to get the rust, not to, pretty much to take care of the rust, so. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. It's an LS1 fully built T56, um, PVM coilovers, cut knuckles, kind of old school setup. Eventually, I'm gonna go wise fab and everything. Might get a nice dash and all that stuff. Um, but it's a good start. Uh, I can compete in this. Um, most of the local stuff around here. Plan to do drift roulette, uh, SoCal, the Amp Slam, um, drift league at some point. Need to get a fire suppression system, but. Besides that, it, it's pretty set. I just need to get some seat time in it. Um, but yeah. Boss kit's definitely not staying. That's going to go at some point. But I'd rather spend money on seat time and getting stuff dialed in as opposed to doing a front end. I got some turbo cans somewhere. I'm going to just do the whole thing black. All one spray. Call it a day. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take care of this cage. For the most part, at least the floor pan. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, we can do that later on when I'm actually good. So this is all gonna be black uh, pretty soon. Well, probably up to that part. Maybe, yeah, I'll do that when I take the seat out so it's not too, too bad, but make a magic snap and it's black. So still drying, obviously. Um, I literally just finished. I'm also doing my excursion, which is a tow rig that if you follow my Instagram, you've seen, if not, uh, you'll see it at some point. It's not, it's not crazy. Um, so I'm going to let that dry. Probably do up there as well real quick, I think. Just so... I actually know. There's no rust up there. That's the main thing I'm trying to do is just rust prevention. Maybe a little bit over there. 
but make sure all the seams are good and stuff like that. This is rust reformer. So pretty much just sanding it off as best as I can. And then like spots like that back there, I'll pretty much use the wire brush, sand it, get it down to metal, and then use rust reformer as the base. Um, it says you can spray it on directly onto rust, but I'd rather just do it as bare metal as close as possible. This is gonna be the fun part up here. I'm trying to get coverage on that. Um, so we'll see. I'll probably do this part black maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see when that time comes but just slowly doing the cage on this so i'll throw in some update videos as as i go Alrighty, so got that filter over there gonna see if we can get it away from the radiator and have all that heat right on it so we got just the ebay ex exhaust intake i'm tired um this is supposed to be four inch elbow in theory, that do be a four inch elbow already. That seems like it would slide on and off, but make that work. The goal is to have intake right there, because eventually I'm gonna do cokey front with, um, I'm gonna cut this out right here. So that way it's just pretty much like a cold air intake straight through. Um, and it can directly get air there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's taped together. I don't like that they have these little brackets on it, but I can probably just cut those off, honestly. So let's see if we can make this work. All right, so we kind of mocked it up. Uh, it will work. It has this like, I guess coating on it that I need to take off because I'm gonna do the gold heat tape on it. I need to cut this tab off. I bent that one to see if maybe I can make it work. If not, that'll also get cut off as well. But for now, we're just gonna cut this one off with the grinder. So, let's get it going. Alrighty, easy enough. So, just pretty straight-ish cut. Uh, doesn't need to be pretty. You can use the wire wheel to clean it up. That way it doesn't uh, hurt if I put my hand down there. Um, ideally, like I said, this, this was a $50 intake. I'm going to put some gold tape over it and over that. So we're just making it work. We still need to see if this will fit, but we're going to clean this up first. So one hand is not going to work. All right. Well, slowly the intake is going to work and everything. That's kind of least of my worries at this point. Uh, definitely going to nut and bolt the car. Um, guy got it from so i could drive it back it'd be bold but uh that injector this one here was not plugged in so was running idling on seven and with it plugged in it idles it doesn't like to idle i don't know it's just a tune issue or it being down here but that's obviously uh something i need to look into valves definitely need to be adjusted because they're solid lifters um and then all these pretty much nipples were pretty much blowing out of their place just because they're not zip tied. Something easy enough. So I did all those. Actually, this uh, perfect example. That one is set, but it is cracking. So would it have worked? Probably. Luckily, I keep these just for reasons. I figured I'd need one at least. It's about the same. Uh, radiator was half a gallon low of coolant, so just added distilled water. I'm gonna zip tie that because I'm here. Um, I need a, I'm assuming it's just the breather. For that, I'll see a vibrant. I'll look on vibrant site and see if that is correct on what that's supposed to be for this plug here. I don't like it just being open. Something can fall in it, go in it, whatever. Uh, if it is needed, then I'll connect it, or I'll just put on a breather. I don't know if it'll be like one of these fittings with a breather attached to it or what have you. But uh, let me get that one done. Uh, kind of just going over the car now. The inside came out pretty good, just for quick rattle can um 
came out. I'm de decent with the rattle can. Uh, I'm going to take that seat out so I can put on the garage stick bracket so I can get my seating position done in it. Um, I just I ordered ratcheting wrenches because I don't have the sizes and I just ordered a kit. Um, much like random little stuff. The intake is going to sit like right here or so with a filter. So I believe since there's tire, pretty much tire there, I feel like debris could get in. So I may block that out. I have that downward kind of intake that I could use if I get a bumper that goes down here or I mean I'm going to run the intake duct no matter what so I'll probably just cut this hole here and make it pretty much a perfect system to flow right in there directly. Uh, there is no <laughs> dipstick, just a little nipple cover so that's cool, I'll need to see something about that. Um, yeah, definitely need to um is that fuel leaking there i don't know something's leaking it's moist at least but i can't see where that moistness is coming from could just be this i don't know is it on both sides no just on one side just on that one Another thing I'll have to look into, like so, get a nut bolt check, uh, radiator already looked through, uh, oil I'm going to drain, luckily it has the uh, adapter up here, uh, I'm tired, I just got off, well I didn't just get off work, I've been off work, but I've been, I just got home, so I've been all around all day, um, headlights, he said they work, they do not um, so yeah, a lot more bunning up than I thought it would. Um, realistically, I kind of wish I went with the other car I was going to purchase, but we're here now. We're going to make the best of it. Um, it'll be a little journey and get it going, but overall, I'm excited for it. I'm just tired. Um, let me, let me zip tie that before I forget. I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm going to do the intake. I already cut that off. I'm not going to run their filter. I'm just going to run wherever the K&N filter is. Um, it's better than some Spectre one. Anyway, i uh, going to see if tape sticks to this. If not, probably scuff it so it can stick. And throw that on. And there's that little kind of heat shield thing. I don't think I'm going to use it, honestly. Because it's supposed to be for this way. And so it's like a L that way. So if I flip it, it would be um, pretty much like pointing up. I may be able to make it work. Maybe, maybe not. I can always just make a custom one or have one made if I really need to. But I don't think I need to go that far, honestly. So um, it's a it's a decent starting point. Um, like I said, I'm tired. So. Valves need to be adjusted. Luckily, it looks like it's just four bolts and they use different bolts on each side already. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. That one's a different one. Maybe I'll get dress up hardware for those bolts. Like, uh, make it look a little nicer. I don't know what this little block off area is for. I'm assuming that just, they welded it in. Maybe I'll probably just paint that as well. Like wrinkle, maybe, I don't know. Time will tell. Sharpie it. Fuck it. So, uh, this is going to be the first video for this thing. Like, share, come subscribe to see more. I'm going to get some sleep.